That was the most exciting game of the entire NCAA tournament so far, and Purdue is moving on tonight. Uh -huh. Ah, it was such an amazing yes. game. Oh man, put on a show. Boilers uh, took down Tennessee overtime. Yeah, they were up 18. Up 18. Oh. Then they lost the lead. Then they came back, tied it up. Woo! First time in the lead eight since 2000. Wow. Sports director Anthony Calhoun is live for us in Louisville. What a game, ah, AC. <laughs> Woo, breathe, breathe. <laughs> hey guys, I got to tell you, it's one of the uh, best college basketball games I've seen in a very long time. What a win here tonight for the Purdue basketball team. As you just mentioned, they're heading to the Elite Eight for the first time since 2000. This game had everything in it. We had great defense, unbelievable shooting from the field. At one point, Purdue was shooting over 60% from the field alone. They had an 18-point lead. It looked like they had total control of this game. Then all of a sudden, Tennessee, being the number two seed here in the South region, started to battle back. They would end up taking the lead in the game the second half. Purdue's Carson Edwards had a chance to give Purdue the lead in regulation and possibly win this game. He was two of three from the free throw line when he got fouled on that three-point shot with final seconds left to play in the game. He made two or three. The game went to overtime. In overtime, Purdue completely dominated. Going on to win tonight, 99 to 94 is the final. And now Matt Painter, who had like no talent at all, if you think about it, at the beginning of the season, has his team just one win away from playing in the final four coming up next week in Minneapolis. Unbelievable. Hey, we caught up here with some Purdue fans. Purdue I got to tell you something. This place was rocking here tonight, folks. There were so many. Purdue fans here like these two right here oh, yeah. where y'all from I'm actually from Fort Wayne she's from Fort Wayne she lives down here and yeah. I came yeah. down from Indianapolis today how about the Boilermakers what a win here I mean was the crowd just unbelievable oh, it was great like this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity coming to see your favorite team only two hours away from you and uh, yeah um, you know I've been a Purdue fan my whole life and yeah. you know this made it all worth it you know I'm all sure those years so it's exciting yeah. it's exciting so how nervous were you how much was your heart beating oh when you so saw the game was tied well, actually they had the lead late in the final Final seconds there and then Carson Edward gets fouled. Oh my gosh, my heart is still racing. Like <laughs> such a nail biter the whole time. They yeah. always keep it interesting. She was more nervous for me. Lots yeah, yeah. More energy. nervous for me. More nervous for you then. <laughs> hey, how about Mr. Klein here? He was incredible. 27 points for him. Unbelievable from behind the arc. Every time he touched the ball, it seemed like it was going in. I didn't even know how he had that many. It's just like it seemed like every time he hit one, it was a big one. Yeah. Um, and that's what he's kind of done all year. And, you know, he's kind of had been behind guys the last couple of years. And, man, he's really made his senior year count. 7 of 10 for Mr. Klein here today against the Tennessee Vols. And now they get set to either play against Oregon or Virginia on Saturday here at the Yum Center in the Elite Eight. How does that sound? Sounds great. We'll be here. We'll be here. All right. We'll I let you guys get a bunch of the tickets. Oh, I'm sure there are going to be a lot because there's going to be a lot of Purdue fans here oh, for yeah. sure. You'll and, get some, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take sure. care of your girl it's here. Worth the money. You guys it's will be all right. All right. We'll okay, let you guys get here. No problem. Boiler up big Boiler time. Up. All right.